And good morning, praise God. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on this Sunday morning. Uh, my wife and I, we came to encourage someone who has lost a loved one, who's hurting from a loss, and let you know that there's hope in Christ Jesus. We're here to celebrate uh, the remains, because we know the body's not here, the remains of her father, Mr. George. Yeah, Ernest George. He would have been 97 years old on today, so we made our way. It's windy, rainy Sunday morning. We got Ernest George, my dad, and he, like what I said, he would have been 97. But we just come to encourage someone who might have lost a loved one. Uh, in the please excuse years. us. It's windy out here. It's raining really hard, and so it's kind of hard to hold on to the umbrella and the camera. But we give God praise. Well, you know, we just want to read to you because we ventured all the way out here, like we said, from Connecticut. But we just want to read to you First Thessalonians 4, 13. It says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, the trump of the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these sayings. So we just come to encourage someone. Someone might have just lost a loved one. And it, even if it wasn't just lost on last night, he died 29 years ago on next month. And so we just come to encourage you with the words of Christ. Stand on the promises of God. Give God his due. And you know what? Even in this time of sorrow, you can still praise him. In spite of the situation, you can still praise the Lord because God has kept you. He's given you memories to keep. I know I have a lot of good memories of my father. And so as we come out here today, we didn't just come just to just to come, but we came to encourage a soul. We came to encourage someone concerning their walk with God. If you're hurting on today, know this, that God is concerned about you. He knows every tear. He knows every hurt, every pain in the name of Jesus. So we just thank God for being able to be out here on today. And we thank God and we pray for you in the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice. And we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Praise be to God. We strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Thank God for this opportunity for that windy day. We honor the King in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we love you, Dad.